Hello, welcome to another conversational video. Now it's not very wise to always focus on grammar books. You will get to know more about this through this video. Today's conversation is with Vishal and um, grammar will help you form some sentences randomly. But fluency, thought process, coordination of the thought with language, everything depends on how well you equip yourself with a language. There are other phases also to language learning. Of course, it's not just skills. Grammar is one of the aspects and not the only aspect. So it's not enough that you just read some grammar books and get your sentences right. If you would like to have a conversation with me, please watch the entire video. This will give you some guidelines and an idea of why these conversational videos are created. The email ID is also shared towards the end of the video. If you have patience, you can also read the video description. It's not enough that you just watch one video because each learner has got something to share. So let's watch the video. So hi Vishal, welcome Hello. to the conversation videos. Good evening. Yeah. good evening, good evening. And thank you for uh, sending the request for a conversational video. And I'm delighted um, to have you here. So Vishal, um, you. tell me something more about you as you begin, where are you from and all that. Yes, you can go on. Okay, thank you for providing me this opportunity. My name is Vishal Duhan. Basically, I am from Sonipat, Haryana, but I live in Panchkula city. It's very close to Chandigarh city. If I talk my educational background, I studied graduation. Right now I am in job. I work in railway sector as a technician. I joined my job eight years ago. Nowadays I am learning this language. So this is the reason I sent you mail and okay. I wanted to connect. Right, right, right. Okay, that's great Vishal. So you are into the professional part and also you are learning. What are your hobbies? Nowadays my focus on learning many things. I go to the gym every day and I am learning about stock market. One year ago, I started my speaking journey. Okay. That time, I was zero at this language. I now I was number first time, and in starting, I had a translation habit. Like firstly, I think in mind. After that, I translate mm. in English. Yes, yes, so yes. In starting, I have this problem. Okay. So the minute you stop right. translating from a language, there was some change. So to help you, I think uh, it's just uh, from my observation. More than the accent, the pronunciation is important. Okay, now um, Indian pronunciation is also accepted, British and American. So people give more importance. I don't know why the trend is to focus on the accent. Accent is style and it's your choice. Pronunciation is important. Okay, so the way you throw words. Yeah. Okay, how can we learn uh, about the right pronunciation? Pronunciation, yeah. Pronunciation comes only through listening and practicing. Now, working on the language comes with listening, reading and practicing. Now, when you listen to content in English, as a learner, you have already become a learner, you have decided to work on the language also. Usually, when we listen to content in English, what do we do? We understand. If it's a movie also, we understand, we enjoy, we leave it. Pay attention to how they throw the words, how they keep the mouth. Even if you are not watching the person or even if you are not seeing how they keep the mouth, Literally, yeah. you can pay attention to how the sound is thrown. For example, the word was. Okay, was. I was watching a movie. So many people say watch. Many people watch because of the mother tongue interference. Some people say was, which is wrong. Was and watch. If it's watch, it's wrong. If it's was, it's wrong. It's was. So look at the difference. I'm not using any accent here. It's only okay. the way I throw the sound and the way I use my sound. Everybody has got a good style. You have to develop the style. The pronunciation is important. But sometimes people mistake and think that, oh, I should have an accent. No, accent is just something that's specific to the region. It's good to have an accent. It's like adding some fragrance and some flavor, extra flavor. But with pronunciation itself, you will notice a change in the way you speak. Yes? 
Yes, ma'am. Right. Okay. So, um, shall I begin the activity? Yeah. You wanted to ask something? Okay. You have achieved a very good level in this language. So, what do you do to improving your level? Okay. I take that as a compliment. There are many people who tell me this. You have achieved a level. You have reached a level. I still feel I am a learner. I am learning a lot of things. Recently also I did CELTA. I completed CELTA with a higher grade from the Cambridge University. When I started doing the course, I am a literature student also. I feel there is so much to learn about this language. Any language, not just English. Okay, we have access to English but not to all the languages. I am a learner. If you feel that I have reached a level, it's because of reading habit. First is reading. Reading helps me a lot because I don't have to even check Google at times. I know the different ways in which the same word is used. It helps me to research. That's one thing. Second is listening. Listening to people speaking. I don't listen only to the natives because I know that the natives also make mistakes. Yes, while it's a part of learning. To them while speaking to them also, they make mistakes just like how we make mistakes in our native tongue. So, um, I pay attention to pronunciation, articulation, the way they bring about the style. I practice. There are different ways in which I practice while teaching, while reading, while listening. And um, because I really love the language, I cannot live without the language. That's the only thing I know. I've been into it since long. Uh, it's not because I went to an English medium school. I would say today that the English medium school did not give me much uh, with reference to learning it as a language, as a subject. Okay, fine. Maybe I got the best marks. But as a language, still there's a lot to learn. Yeah, so that's what I'm still doing. Even though I'm a trainer today, I am with the language most of the time. I try to read. My native tongue is not English. I'm, I'm also living in a place where English is not encouraged. I'm staying in Madurai right now. So here actually English is not uh, encouraged so much except in schools and academies and institutions. But um, I feel that uh, if there is a will, there is always a way. And uh, that's what I've been doing. And also while sharing knowledge, while speaking to people with you. People like you, while speaking to people like you, also I learn a lot. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, you are doing great work. Thank you so much and uh, really happy to connect with you. So, shall we go for an activity if you're okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Okay, so I have um, this, this sentence here. Yes. Uh, I watch okay. videos. I watch I videos. videos. I am watching videos. Okay. Now, can you tell me something more about these sentences? What's the difference? I watch videos. I'm watching videos. What's the difference? Okay. First, first sentence is present indefinitely. And okay. second is present continuously. Okay. So, how do we, when do we use it from your understanding? You can give me the general usage. Okay. Because in continuous, it's showing continuity and helping verb is MR. Okay. I am watching okay. videos. And this is simple present. I watch videos. Okay. I watch videos. So this could be used when you are referring to daily pattern, regular routine, or when it's happening in the present. Okay. I walk daily. I go for a walk. I, I write uh, three pages daily. So this is something that you do. It's not that you're doing it now. Regular habit, yes, pattern, present tense. As you rightly said, I am watching. Okay, this is something that happened somewhere in the past and it's still going on. It is continuing in the present. The action has not uh, got completed necessarily. It's still going on. Right. Okay, so can you tell me something about this? Okay. I have been watching videos. What does it mean? I have been. Okay, ma'am, I think it's an incomplete sentence. And it's a perfect continuous, present perfect continuous. Excellent. Present perfect continuous. I have been watching. So it's with reference to a particular period of time. Again, you started somewhere in the past and I've been doing it. Okay. When I say I'm watching, even now it's happening. It's only with yes. reference to the present. I am watching. 
I am doing, yes, I am writing three pages. When I say I have been writing three pages, it happened. It, it, it has been going on for some time. Right? Okay, do you have anything right. to add to these tenses? It's, it's a major problem with many people. How did you learn the basics of tenses? Of course, you told me that you are making some mistakes, you get stuck. But you have reached a level where you understand where you are making the mistake. If you listen to your own video, you will be able to find out, spot the error, as it's called. Okay, I have my grammar book. Okay. okay. It's written by Nitin Mame. So by that time, like after one month, after two months, I will revise some chapter from this book. Okay. And it's a basic chapter, like tense and article helping verb. This is basic. Man. So that's all. So revising the grammar book. Uh, so the grammar books will have maybe five sentences, six sentences as examples or, and some exercise also to help you with the context, to help you with the yes. usage. Do you try yes. that with different sentences? Yes, every day I do practice. Okay. So in practice, it's a common thing. Like another person asks you anything. It's yes. your duty. You, yes. You, him, and so. Okay, so more than the grammar book, actually what is helping you is you have the rule in your mind, but you are experimenting and using it in different contexts. So even yes, when absolutely. you make a mistake, so that is like you know something, but let me try it out. It's like you learned something, theory is there, but now you are practicing it. And as you know, English has got a lot of exceptions. You take one grammar rule, it will have a lot of exceptions and no grammar book covers all the exceptions. Any good yes, grammar book will tell you. Through context, through experimentation and through exploration, you learn more. So I think you have been experimenting while talking to people and correcting. Okay. So right. do you want to get a short feedback? Yes, please ma'am. Give me okay. a feedback. So Vishal, I'm quite impressed with your confidence. You're quite confident and that comes with the conversation that you have been into. And you have been practicing, which is great. And you're also consistent with your learning process. Okay. Now, you told me that you make mistakes with grammar. Yes, I also noticed that here and there, you are not able to use the right form of verb sometimes, sometimes the right tense. There's no problem with the basics, but maybe it could be with completing the sentence with the thought. I have been at this for some time. I have been doing it for some time. So, it's not about the tense, but completing it using the right structure along with the tense. So, suppose you are using the simple tense in a sentence, you should have the other part of the sentence also in the right structure, not just the tense, you know, the tail of the uh, sentence. So, those things. Now, to work on that, I think, yes, you need to continue practicing. That's the key point. Continue practicing. But I feel you need to read aloud also because you said I want to work on my pronunciation also. Read aloud every day at least three pages. Listen to yourself. So when you are reading, you have the material in front of you. And all the sentences are correct. Most of the sentences are correct. You don't have to take the effort of thinking and then framing the sentence. So read aloud so that you pay attention to the sentence structure. Second thing is, you are also working on the pronunciation. So if you listen to a video, you can try imitating to an extent and throwing the sound in the right way. That is pronunciation, not the style. So suppose you are reading, okay, there was a king and he was very generous with his people. Once upon a time, there lived a king, one sentence, there lived a king. Past tense, but still look at the sentence structure. So when you are a learner, pay attention to it, read it aloud. It will definitely help you because you have already got something, some level, to go to the next level, you can try it out along with the practice. Yes, ma'am. I will definitely do this thing. Yeah. Well, let's keep okay, I will try to follow your advice and I will uh, try to again contact you after definitely. two months or three months later. Definitely, definitely do. Do keep in touch. And this is a kind of network that we are building as language learners. And thanks a lot for joining me. Thank you so much, ma'am. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope you learned something. As I told you, every learner has got something to share from his or her journey. And yes, everyone is learning. When it comes to tenses, when it comes to any part of the grammar, it's not just theory that helps a person. It's practice. Practicing with the context in the right way. If you mug up some grammar rules, it's not going to help you. You may repeat the same mistakes. Now, Vishal has always spoken about this at length and 
please follow those guidelines. Happy learning!